In this field in Rapides Parish, a farmer and scientist are studying a variety of cover crops to see if the environment can benefit from them. Cover crops are not grown to be harvested, but a farmer must still employ management strategies common in crops grown for income. It is a crop that you have to manage, and manage in that you have to know which variety to plant, when to plant it, when it needs to be terminated uh, to get the most benefit. Most cover crops are terminated through a chemical spraying four to six weeks prior to the planting of the cash crop. To get the most benefit, cover crops should be planted as soon as possible, preferably in early fall. Typically these cover crops are planted late September, October, maybe even into the first of November, but if you wait that long, by the time the cover crop germinates and gets established, you know, it may only be out there for two to three months before you have to terminate it. LSU Ag Center researchers are studying issues such as variety types, planting dates on crops such as cereal rye or hairy vetch, and how to properly terminate cover crops. You don't want that cover crop to become a weed um, if it's not terminated at the proper time, and you also want to give it, again, uh, the most optimum time to release those nutrients or, or fix the no nutrients that it needs to. A major advantage of some cover crops is they can improve soil health by increasing organic matter and adding beneficial nutrients. But they do a really good job at scavenging nitrogen, which means they pull some of the nitrogen from the soil, they actually take it up into the plant, and when the plant decomposes, that nitrogen is then available for the following crop. Because Louisiana has many different soil types, Morgan said there are more than a dozen cover crop research locations across the state. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.